Hey everyone, William Cutting 08 here, and today I would like to show you how to wrap uh, your knife handle with paracord. And, um, sorry, didn't have that ready. With paracord, <laughs> um, first off, what you're going to need is a knife with a skeletonized handle. Um, it doesn't have to be the Rat Izula, I mean, be any knife, um, but you will need about five feet of paracord. And I'm going to be using two different colors today. That way it's easy uh, to distinguish which strand of paracord is doing what. So, and before I begin, let me go ahead and thank one of my subscribers. Uh, he's the one who actually requested that um, I make this video. And his screen name is uh, Holy Frag Grenade. But anyway, take one strand of the paracord and go ahead and feed it through. Go ahead and feed it through the handle, and you want about a half, uh, a foot and a half of paracord sticking out from the handle. So go ahead and feed it about a foot and a half through there. Take your orange strand and go under and over the handle. So you get something that looks very similar to this. There we go, just like that. Okay. So then after you've done that, go ahead and take the tan strand and just just to get it out of the way, go ahead and pull it down and just hold it while you're holding the sheath, just like that. Just hold it like that. So then we do that and then go ahead and take your orange strand and bring it under the handle again, but don't go all the way, just bring it under halfway and then pinch it off right there just like how I'm doing and now you're going to take your um, bottom strand or the tan strand and just feed it back through the handle and then bring it down towards the sheath end and just hold it down now you take your orange strand and bring it over and then under halfway so we have something like this, and that's what the back looks like. Looks like. Okay, now that you've done that, and you're you're you only went halfway, you take the um, the tan strand or your bottom strand, feed it back through the handle, and pinch it off down here. Take your orange strand. Go over and under, stop, pinch it off, take your tan strand and feed it back through, and then repeat this process. Over, under, pinch off, take the tan strand, feed it back through, bring it down, pinch it off, go over and under, pinch it off. Take your bottom strand, bring it bring it back through the handle, over and under, pinch it off, feed it back through, hold it down, over, under, pinch it off, and bring it back through. And as you're doing this, you're going to start seeing a pattern develop and it's what I like to call the basket weave pattern now I'm not sure if that's the proper name for this um, paracord wrap but this is the only paracord wrap that I've seen um, I think I invented it because I haven't seen it anywhere or I haven't seen anybody else do it so I'm gonna call it the the basket weave paracord wrap so anyway so then um, bring it over and under and you're going to want about four, I'm sorry, not four, you're probably going to want seven of these bumps. Now it has to be an uneven number, because if it's an uneven number, then it'll, whenever you finish it off, it'll finish off nice and smoothly. Um, it, if you have an even number, it won't finish off as nice. So make sure that you have at least 
um, seven of these little bumps. So we go back through. And if you're running out of room, um, kind of how I am, because I'm running out of room, um, what you can do is you can push the paracord, kind of push it down towards the finger choil, and that should give you um, some extra room. See, I just added a whole bunch of extra room of paracord, or for the wrap. So there we go. And then I'm just going to continue. Let me make sure. Okay, good. And then just feed it back through. Put it down. Here we go. This is a tricky part. Okay, so we got one, two, three. Okay, we have six. So we need one more. So since we're out of room, go ahead and push that down. And then we're going to feed it back through. Just like that. Okay. So then now we have seven of these um, little bumps. Okay. Now from here, I already jumped ahead. Um, now from here, what you're going to do is you're just going to um, take your your hand strand or the strand that you've been feeding through the um, the rest of them and just stick it through this lanyard hole like so and then you bring your orange strand around like this and you want to feed it the opposite way that you fed the tan strand through so I'm going to feed it going around and through instead of just straight through so then after you do that, just go ahead and start feeding um, the paracord and wrapping it around the lanyard ring, just like that. And I'll do the same with the, um, the brown, or the tan paracord, just like that. And I'll do one more. Sorry, you can't see this. There we go. So then we'll have something that looks very similar to this. I'm going to do one more orange. I'm kind of pushing it because I'm running out of tying. So that's what it'll look like once you're finished. And I think it looks really smooth. Um, these won't be exactly perfect when you first finish. So what you'll have to do is you'll just kind of have to push them and align them to where they're directly in the middle of the handle or you can just leave them how they are but after you wrap the lanyard ring what I do is I just tie a basic knot and I am I ran out of room so I just loop it and stick it through that little hole it's just a basic knot. I'm not sure what it's called. Just like that. And then I'm going to do the same with the orange if I have enough space. Let's see. Where is it? There it is. Oh no. Okay. Alrighty. Got it. Alrighty. And this is the basket weave paracord wrap. And I ran out of room, so make sure you have enough room when you're tying this um, the end knot. But as you can see, that's what it looks like. And it gives you extra grip and added comfort when using um, your skeletonized uh, knife. And please stay tuned for more uh, paracord wrap videos because I have at least three more that I would love to show you. Y'all guys have a nice day. And see y'all soon.